Hello. So I have a few things to say and it is my intention to rebirth this year as June 1st is really near. Rebirth this year as June 1st is really near because this year I've been walked through uh, an initiation, I believe, an up-leveling a deeper understanding of myself, a deeper understanding of people in general, and um, more love. And I've also been walked through losing it all and having everything that you thought you knew ripped from you, um, losing love again, and what that feels like. And I think pretty much every emotion. And while I was gifted that experience, I was also gifted beautiful teachers and guides and really business partners to walk me through this journey, hold my hand, and hold me up. And I feel it's appropriate for me to now give back and give these videos to you um, to instill you with the power to really take care of yourself in major ways, especially if you're one of those overachievers, uh, running around at all ends, working your tail off and your ass off and losing your friggin' life and um, being a mom, being a dad, doing everything to the hilt and get just to have forgotten about yourself because it's scary when you get cancer and it's scary when you get adrenal failure and it's scary when your guts go or it's scary when your liver goes it's scary when you have a, a aneurysm or a heart attack and I'm seeing the world come to these things and all we really need to do is check ourselves and check in with what we're feeling. So specifically today, um, I'm going to be talking on this day two, I guess, because my um, first day was that video yesterday of my expression and desire. Uh, I hadn't done a wave in a long time, so it was kind of fun. But um, many of us aren't scared to work hard and run, run, run. I haven't met many people that don't want to achieve something, that don't want to go to work in the morning, that wish to be poor but what we're scared of those feelings deep down and what we're fearful of is feeling That's what ruins most marriages. That's what stops us from making moves forward in life and in work. Moves that we really desire to do. Yet, our fear of feeling too much joy, too much excitement, too much accomplishment, too much pride in what we just did or what we accomplished stops us. And I've been having a lot of conversations about this sense of good enough 
that we're all battling, so many of us are battling, we're striving to prove to ourselves, striving to prove to one another, to be validated by another. And I know I've been the queen of this, waiting for the validation of somebody or something else to prove to you that you're worthy of feeling good about who you are. You're worthy to make the money that you desire to make. You're worthy to have the things that you have. You're worthy for your life. And this worthlessness that we're battling stops us from really celebrating the gifts that God or universe or whatever you want to call this omnipotent love gives you that we get to experience it stops you from celebrating yourself and this very life we have this one life to live as who you are in the capsule of your body it cele it stops us from having our bodies be in tip top shape because then we might look too good to impress somebody or it means that we have to be some fitness expert and make an excuse for looking good. We have to make an excuse for making enough money. And we end up hurting inside. We end up running from our feelings. And we end up not being proud of who we are. And when this happens, we stop celebrating life. And biblically, there was like seven months of the year in the Old Testament that they just partied. They drank wine and partied like all month. They walked there and partied, came back from the celebration and partied. Um, and just to celebrate and give thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for being alive, Thanksgiving for your blessings and your fruits, Thanksgiving for one another, Thanksgiving for everything. And we have forgotten and even made wrong this self-appreciation and self-gratitude for the very sheer thing that brings us life is, is this life itself. And we've stopped celebrating. We've stopped celebrating being good enough. Good enough for whatever you want. So it's my invitation for you today that you choose now to do a little bit of self-celebration or life celebration if that makes you feel better today and that might look like taking care of your body it might look like thinking really positive thoughts <laughs> it might look like allowing yourself to have whatever feeling you have and not run from it and we'll get deeper into that later it might feel like really taking time to meditate and connect with your higher self and your soul and God it might look like going out and telling somebody how much they've impacted your life and how much you love them. Or it may simply look like rocking it out at work and really being proud of yourself or maybe even asking for that raise that you believe that you deserve. Asking for that client and going for it. This is the year to celebrate you, to celebrate life, to celebrate being enough. Not because you earned it, not because you need to prove it, but because you're born. And that is my message for today.